Everyone, please join me in thanking Andrew Hillo for doing such a fantastic job as tonight's MC, and please join me in saluting everyone on the NHS staff for this year's convention. Such an overwhelming success during some of the most difficult times and challenges our industry have ever faced. Now let's talk about the elections. And I want to extend, first of all, my thanks to Liz Savala, my partner, my mentor, my confidant on this committee for providing so much help and support as we went through the elections committee tasks. Liz, please stand up and join me for a round of applause. Thank you, Liz. I also would like to thank President Ricardo Pimentel for asking me to chair this important committee and charge Liz and I with this important task. Ricardo, thank you. <laughs> Folks, a solid 34 percent of our membership voted in this year's election, both by voting prior to the convention and at the elections booth at the convention center. This mirrors results from previous years, and I'm happy that the results mirrored how we've done in the past, and I was hoping for just a little bit better, maybe. I want to congratulate the candidates for volunteering their time and their efforts to run for the NSJ board in one of the most lively elections in recent memory. I want to invite the winners to come onto the stage as their names are announced. Let's get to the results. I'm going to start from the bottom of the ballot and work my way up. We had three ballot amendments. The First Amendment asked whether the bylaws of NHJ should be amended to expand the board of directors to include an academic officer at large. The membership voted to expand the board by a vote of 218 votes to 45. The amendment passed. The Second Amendment asked whether the bylaws of NHJ should be amended to give the student representative the right to vote. The amendment passed by a vote of 186 to 77. The Third Amendment asked whether the bylaws should be amended to upgrade the position of at-large officer for new media to vice president for online. The issue passed 229 to 34. We had a three-way race for the Office of Student Representative on the Board of Directors. Jacqueline Guzman received 39 votes compared to Jose Antonio Acevedo Cuevas, who received 26, and eight votes for Alejandra Matos. Jacqueline is NHJ's new student representative. Congratulations. <laughs> for the Office of Online At-Large Officer, Patricio Espinosa received 145 votes compared to 115 votes for Jaime Enriquez. Patricio, a digital reporter in San Antonio, is NHJ's next online at-large officer. Congratulations. For the Office of Spanish at-large officer, freelance journalist Ada Alvarez ran unopposed and received 255 votes. For the Office of General at-large officer, Rebecca Gilad received 195 votes, compared to 67 for Israel Balderas. Rebecca, who is a Dallas-based freelance journalist, is NHJ's next general at-large officer. Congratulations. For the office of NSJ secretary, Boston Globe staff writer Aaron Aylworth ran in the post and received 256 votes. Congratulations. For the Office of NHJ Financial Officer, boss, I'm sorry, AP reporter Russell Contreras ran unopposed and received 245 votes. <laughs> For the Office of NHJ Vice President Print, El Paso Times reporter Gustavo Reveles Acosta ran unopposed and received 255 votes. Congratulations. For the Office of Vice President Broadcast, the candidates were separated by 16 votes. Manny de la Rosa received 139 votes compared to 123 for Mecalo Medina. 
Manny, a reporter at KIII in Corpus Christi, is NHJ's new Vice President Broadcast. Congratulations. For the Office of President, we had, as I'm sure you've noticed, one of the most spirited campaigns in NHJ history. And the candidates were separated by a mere 13 votes. The closest margin in recent memory. Michelle Saucedo received 137 votes, or 52% of the vote, compared to 124 votes, or 47% for Hugo Balta. Michelle, an editor for the Associated Press in Washington, D.C., is NHJ's next president. Thank you. Thank you so, so much for this honor. I want to give my heartfelt thanks to all of my friends and supporters, to those who endorsed me and those who talked me through the rough patches. And I can tell you now there were more than a few. To those who made calls and sent emails, helped distribute my monitos and leaflets and stickers. A special thanks go to Ricardo Pimentel, Rafael Olmeda, Nancy Vaca, Diane Alverio, Gilbert Bailon, and Evelyn Hernandez, past presidents all and to Yvette Cabrera of the California Chicano News Media Association for their support and endorsement. My profound gratitude goes to Cecilia Alvear and Veronica Garcia, to Eli Reyes and also to Nancy Vaca, the most generous friends and mentors who helped me campaign and collaborated on strategy. I can tell you now, they were my not-so-secret weapon. I want to give special thanks to the Associated Press and especially to my bosses, Steve Comero and Ron Fournier in the Washington Bureau. Their generous and unflagging support, not only professionally, but also in my bid for this office, allowed me to run in the first place. I also want to thank Sarah Nordgren for her support of me and for her participation in and help with some of the workshops. Thank you. Hugo Balta. Your graciousness during this campaign set a high standard, one that at times was difficult to match. You promised me last night that you would help me lead NAHJ out of the rushes, and we danced on it. So you know I'm going to come calling. My hand is extended in friendship and cooperation, and I look forward to working with you. I know that, NAH that, I know that NAHJ will be better for your ideas and suggestions and I am more confident in leading NAHJ through the difficulties that lie ahead with your help. The flyers are distributed. The Facebook pages seem dated now. The campaign is over. Now we face the business at hand. There are considerable challenges, to be sure, but for anyone who doubts the future of NAHJ, I point to this journey that ended just a few hours ago. I am proud to have been part of the most contested election in our 28-year history, and I say we are very much alive and ready to meet whatever challenges lie ahead. There's a lot of talent and intelligence in this field of candidates. A lot of good ideas came forth. Why? Because everyone who ran, everyone who cast a vote, a vote shares passionately about NAHJ and its future, and we are committed to setting it right and building it strong. I'm looking, to forward to, I'm looking forward to working with all the board members. The officers who are returning to new roles and the regional directors have the institutional memory so important for continuity. The regional directors will be especially important in rebuilding our organization because they are the closest to the local chapters and to the membership. I look forward to hearing your ideas and suggestions and to working with all of you. But I especially look forward to working with those on the board who did not back my candidacy. When you look at the issues, we really weren't that far apart. Spending needs to be trimmed, new sources of revenue need to be found, the membership needs to be rebuilt. No, the biggest thing we disagreed on was who would hold this office. And while it seemed like a huge issue just a few hours ago, it's really a very small difference compared to the tasks we have in front of us and the time we have to accomplish them. 
just 730 days until the next officers are elected. I have been vocal and public about my plans for solving NAHJ's difficulties, but there were many, many, many good ideas offered during the membership meeting. I know the board has many as well. I look forward to hearing them and working with everyone to figure out how to make them reality as soon as possible. The challenges we face are bigger than me or this office, the board or the hardworking staff. Today is the day to set aside our differences and for each of us to think of how to make our mission a reality. And so I issue this grito across the Rockies. Use your power. Every time you read, Every time you read or hear the words illegal alien or anchor baby, or you don't like the way that the immigration issue is covered because it doesn't focus on the problems with the policy, but rather on the people who are caught in its vice, use your power. Talk to the editors. Talk to the news directors. Tell them why there's a problem with the story and what you can do to fix it. Use your power. When you hear of a job in your newsroom or in any newsroom, Tell another member who may have lost theirs or recommend that person to your bosses. Use your power. If you have multimedia skills that an older colleague doesn't, teach them. Use your power. Use your power, and together we will return NAHJ to sound financial footing and restore its reputation as an organization that is vigilant, one that supports and promotes its members. Without you, I am but one Latina standing here standing alone, but with you, there is no limit to what we can accomplish. Thank you, and thank you for your support.